Hi everyone, here's another one. Um, someone asked if I could clarify exactly how you could do number three from our chapter 5.3 handout. And uh, well, here we go. The context is this. We're talking about tides here. So high tide being the, I guess, the, the, the sea level, being above sea level rather. Um, the water is 15 meters above sea level, and then they record lower tide to be 3 meters above sea level at uh, 1 a.m. and 2 p.m. respectively. It's going to ask you to draw a sketch representing the height of the water over time, being at uh, beginning at midnight before one cycle, and then state the amplitude, period, and the location of transfers, blah, 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 blah. So I think first, if we can, get the ch if we can successfully sketch the graph, I think everything else can fall into place uh, based on your understanding. So... Uh, before I move on to the whiteboard, I might as well try to do it here. Um, so let's pretend this is going to be my my curvature. It says it is going to start at 12, so midnight, so 12 a.m., right? Uh, let's see. High tide is 15, so it won't get any past 15. Low tide is 3. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to just put little dotted lines there to show that's as high as I'll go and that's as low as I will go. It's a little rough, but you get the point. Next, it is high tide at 1 a.m. So, okay, it starts at a maximum. So already you have an idea of what kind of sine, uh, what kind of ratio we're going to use. It's going to be cosine, right? Um, the low tide happens, sorry, this is 1. So this is 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 p.m. In other words, rec low tide is at 2 p.m. Okay? So it's going to be a pretty long wavelength or a pretty long period here. Exactly how long? Well, we'll calculate that after. Okay, a draw a sketch representing the height of the water over time beginning at one, uh, beginning at midnight for one cycle. So yes, my graph starts at 12 a.m., but my high point is going to be at 1 a.m. My lowest point is going to be at 2 a.m., and I know I'm going to have another high point somewhere here, which causes, which uh, tells you, which, which I guess illustrates um, a, a full period. So. Um, Let's talk about this. Some things that we know. If the maximum is 15 and the minimum is 3, then right in the middle, essentially average between 15 and 3, is going to be 9. Okay? Now I go all the way to the end. Where do we finish? Well, if it's 1 o'clock, a, a maximum, and 2 o'clock, a minimum, well, 1 a.m., so 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, 4 hour, 5 hour, 6 hour, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Half of a period is going to be 13 hours. Well, that tells you that the full period will be 26 hours. I know that seems a little bit weird, um, and I think if I remember correctly, that is not how it really works in, in reality. Uh, there might be some fluctuations between high tide and low tide in a 24-hour period. It may not be exactly 24 hours, but I don't think the discrepancy is so big, like a full hour. But what do I know? Let's just go uh, and assume that the question details are what the facts. And yeah, it's up to us to model an equation based on that. Um... Okay, so period is 26, and from here, I think we can actually calculate everything we need uh, for a equation. Our amplitude, oh sorry, maybe I should just write this. So between one and two, that's 13 hours. So six and a half hours right here is my, right here, 7.30 is gonna be my midpoint, and another six and a half hours, so eight, 8.30, approximately 8.30 is going to be another midpoint, and we're gonna have a curve, something like that. The amplitude, again, 
since we drew it so nicely, we know that the amplitude is going to be a difference between 15 and 9. The amplitude is going to be 6. The period, we already calculated. The period is going to be 26. And uh, for the future, if we have to write an equation as a sine and cosine, why don't we just calculate k being the old divided by new. That's 24 hours. Sorry, that's going to be uh, 2 pi divided by 26 hours. The k value is going to be pi over 13. So the period is going to be 26 hours. Uh, location of the transverse, c is going to be positive 9 meters. Write the height of the water level function as a sine or cosine. Since we're going to be at maximum anyways, let's do the height as a cosine. It is going to be amplitude of 6 cosine my k value of pi over 13 x minus 1 hour to the right and plus 9. There it is. If you wanted to write this as a sine function, you're going to either have to pretend the curve starts in the negative side of things, or rather the previous day, or we're going to have to write uh, an equation that starts from 830. We could also pretend that the curve starts from 730 in the morning, but reflect vertically so that the sine curve actually goes under, under and hits the minimum before we hit the maximum. Either way it works. So I'm just going to pretend that we are actually we are pushing to the right by, um, let's see, another 12 hours and then 8 hours. So 20 hours and 30 minutes. Okay, we've moved, we've, uh, we've translated to the right by 20 hours and 30 minutes. So my height would be uh, 6 sine pi over 13 x minus uh, 20.5 hours plus 9. Okay, so questions like if the large cruise ship needs the water level of at 7 meters, um, I'll let you try that and then take a look at my answer key. Long story short, it's I want to know when the water level will be at least 7 meters. So in other words, when the y value is 7, what does the x, what does the time have to be? And I realize I wrote x instead of t. t was supposed to represent the time, not x. Sorry. Uh, so t minus 1 and t minus 20.5. Okay. Hope that helps. Um, yeah. Keep working at it. Uh, this is one of the more challenging questions simply because it's not in a 24 hour uh, cycle and there's a lot of small things that could cause you to doubt your calculations because it doesn't seem quite logical. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, Just take what the question has given you and see if you can work through it. All right, hope this helps and keep studying.